Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Crocheters Creed, and today we are going to be making a pride flag inspired um, teddy bear. So the materials that you will need for this project, as far as yarn goes, is purple, some purple yarn. You will also need a, I use dark blue, you can use light blue, whatever one, whatever you have, I only had dark blue dark blue yarn you will also need um, some green yarn I'm gonna move this out of the way because these are pretty big you will also need um, some yellow red and orange yarn actually just going up the flag these are the colors up the flag and then I'm not sure if I will add this later the eyes will just be um, black and the teddy bear part will be in a rainbow the same rainbow effect too and i don't know if i will be using this this is optional i'm thinking about using um a little light blue for the eyes i'm not sure i may leave it out but that's optional or whatever color you want to use for the eyes you will also need a six millimeter hook you will also need a 4.25 millimeter hook or the biggest or tiniest hook that you have on hand and you will also need a pair of scissors um, a glue gun and glue is optional if you don't like to sew uh, okay something that I do want to say is that I recently saw something about the pride flag saying that they were going to revamp it or something i'll leave a link to the description i'll leave a link in the description to the article that i'm talking about so um if this is going to be oh i dropped my needle if this um isn't the latest pride flag i apologize i don't mean to offend anyone and if you would like um if this pride flag or this new revamp pride flag hasn't come out yet i can um add something on to this bear that incorporates the new sections of the pride flag only if this is happening but if not we'll stick to the what the pride flag is and um how i've made this bear as you'll see from the obviously the um thumbnail is that i've started from the bottom of the flag and gone up as far as colors so um the very bottom color of the first starting from the bottom um is purple so you're going to start with your six millimeter hook and your tilt that up a little bit more and your purple yarn. And um, this pattern also has a lot of um, it also has a lot of yarning off and, and redoing a bunch of stuff. So and adding on colors. So that may take a lot um, or you're ha gonna have a lot of ends at the very end so you're gonna take your purple yarn <clears throat> and your six millimeter hook and you are going to make a magic circle and you are going to put eight single crochet into this magic circle okay. I've adjusted the um, light, so maybe that'll be a little bit better. It looks a little clearer now. Maybe that was why. Okay, so you're going to have your eight single crochet, and then you are going to pull your end through, and you are going to slip stitch in to that top stitch. Come on, focus. Uh, whatever. I'm going to slip stitch into that top stitch and you are going to take your stitch marker, slip stitch, take your stitch marker after this, chain one, and you also need a stitch marker. I forgot to say that, stitch marker. All the, um, all of the, uh, what do you call it, as well as every video, always has the materials linked in the description. All right, now that you have your magic circle and you chained your one, you are going into the next stitch, you are going to do an increase. Come on. An increase. 
which is just the same, a single, single crochet increase. So you're going to single crochet in the next stitch two times, or an increase. And then in the next stitch, you are going to put one single crochet. And the next stitch after that, you are going to put another increase, two of the same things, and you are going to repeat that pattern all the way around. You just finish your increase, then you're going to do single crochet in the next stitch, then increase, single crochet, and so on until you get back to your stitch marker. Alright, now that you have gotten row one done, you are going to slip stitch into that next stitch with a stitch marker in it, and you're going to chain one. Oh, I can't see this from over there. Come on. Alright, now chain, can you see this? Chain your one. Sorry for the lighting, it looks like my hand's in a spotlight, but this is actually making it focus a little better. Alright, now we're moving on to row two. And for row two, um, and you'll notice a pattern here. Um, for row two, you are going to put an increase in the next stitch. So that is... Oh, we're working on the legs. I forgot to say that. Sorry about that. We're working on the legs first. Come on. That's two. Then in the next stitch, you're going to put one single crochet. And in the next stitch, you're going to put another single crochet. So if you can see that, you have your increase here. And your two single crochet there, one and two. So you're going to repeat that. So you just did your one, so one single crochet in the next two stitches. Then an increase, one single crochet in the next two stitches all the way around until you get back to your stitch marker. Now, after you are finished with row two, you are going to slip stitch into that top stitch, the stitch marker, and slip stitch, and you are, come on, oh, come on, slip stitch, and you are going to chain one. Come on, I hate when it does this. Thank you. All right. Now, you're going to put your stitch marker in that chain one. And for row three, you are going to chain one as we just did. And you are going to put two decreases in the beginning and the end of this circle. So for the decrease, you're going to go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up another loop, go into the next stitch, pull up another loop, yarn over, pull through all three. That is your decrease. You're going to do another one. That's your two in the beginning. And now you're going to single crochet all the way around until you get to the last four stitches. A decrease takes up two um, stitches. So make sure you leave four stitches available and single crochet until you get to those last four stitches and do a decrease in the last four four stitches one in the set two the second you know what i mean <laughs> and um that'll be the end of row three so that's one two one two i have one more and i can start with my decreases All right, now as you can see, it's starting to form a little, starting to form a cup like that, and that's what you want for the leg. Now, since I've already done my full row or round, you are going to slip stitch again into that top stitch, if I can get it in there, come on, and you are going to chain one again. And, oop, come on, chain one again. And all of this, of course, you're still going to be doing in purple. Now, you can choose when you make yours to make it however. You can start off 
uh, with this much. I make it a little bit longer with the purple. You can choose how much color or how much of the color that you want to use. So if you want to make a few more rows than this or a few less, it's really up to you. But it will change the pattern because I have specific rows for specific colors. So now for row four, you are going to just single crochet all the way around for row four. All right, now I've gotten to the end of row four and I'm just going to slip stitch into that top stitch again and chain one. Now for row five, put this in, do this. For row five, you are going to chain one as we did and you are going to put three decreases, three decreases, decreases, three decreases. I don't know why I'm having a hard time saying that. You're doing good to do three of those in the beginning and end of the round. So I'll just show you the ones at the beginning and you'll, you know, it's self-explanatory at the end, three more decreases. So you go and pull up a loop. You're on over, pull up a loop. Go into the next stitch, that's a decrease. Again, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. That's it. your second decrease. Next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, decrease, and let me see. So since you will need six available stitches, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're not going to have that many stitches that you are going to need to single crochet in between before you need to start your decreases. So remember to count your stitches. That's two, four, wait, no, no, come on. Two, four, six. That's perfect. And then I'm starting at the end of my decreases. I might as well just finish this on camera and not do it on my own so that you guys can see. And then you're going to slip stitch into that top stitch. Oh, why is this all in the way? Come on. Slip stitch into that top stitch. Oh, come on. One, I hate when it does this. And chain one. Move your stitch marker. All right, now your thing. Now also with the ends to this, I would just tuck it in to your tuck it in the ends, tuck it into your little leg and you want to pull it out a little bit, stretch it out a little bit because we've been increasing and decreasing. And now for row six, for row six through nine, you are going to chain one and single crochet all the way around for row six through nine. Now I'm only going to demonstrate a few rows since I already have all of these all of this pre-made. So I'm only going to do at least two rows for you for you to see how um, it grows, but then I'll switch off to the next. Okay, I'm sorry. I forgot to mention that we are now switching colors. I'm so sorry. I'm reading off my notes and I just saw six through nine, but I wrote blue over top of it. So now you're going to switch to your blue. So before you do rows six through nine, you need to switch to blue. So just leave a decent tail, decent enough to where, you know, it won't slip off. And you're going to take your blue yarn now. And you're going to unravel that. 
and I just leave a decent tail about that long and I like to hook it to the end of my yarn come on focus and pull it through like that and then pull that purple piece of yarn tight and taut and then pull the blue yarn and then chain one with the blue yarn and make sure you keep pulling the purple it helps to tie these just in case so that they won't slip off but like I said I'm only going to demonstrate a few rows and then um, I'll move on but six through nine with your blue blue yarn now you're simply like I said just single crocheting in every stitch around Okay, now I actually ended up doing three rows instead of um, two, just so you could see how it's starting to form. You want the little bulge at the very bottom, and then you want it to get skinnier as it goes up. And so this is basically my row six through nine. I didn't do all of them, but this is just a example. Now, once you're done with your um, six through nine rows for the blue, you are going to switch off to green. So... I, I always make this mistake because I'm used to like yarning off and chaining one. What you want to do after, before you chain your one is after you slip stitch, which makes it a lot easier, you're going to cut your yarn again, leave a long tail, cut your yarn, and now you're going to get your green yarn. Like I said, we're just working our way up the flag. So now I'm going to get my green yarn. Like I said, it helps to tie your ends. I've tucked all of mine into the leg. I know you can't see them, so you can see the purple one. I've tucked them all into mine because um, I don't have to tie them because this is just a you know example. But it helps to tie them so that they won't loosen. So you're going to take a long tail. And your hook is in that slip stitch. You're going to pull the stitch. Make sure you pull the blue one tight. Make sure the green one is tight too. And you are going to chain... Oh, I'm doing the wrong piece. Chain one with that. Pull the blue. Make sure the blue is tight as well as the green. And you're going to insert your... Where's my, where's my stitch marker? Oh, come on. My stitch marker. Okay, I found that it was buried behind my huge green yarn. Okay, now you're going to put your stitch marker into that, that chain one. And you just do six, you just done six through nine of your pattern. And now you are going to do for rows 10 through 14 you are going to single crochet all around with green. Now I'm gonna do a few rows just so you can see what I'm talking about and we're gonna move on. So rows 10 through 14, single crochet all the way around with green. All right, and then this is starting to come together. Now you see the green, you have the purple, the blue, and the green. Now we finished rows 10 through 14 for green. Now we are going to switch off and for yellow, you are going to take your yellow yarn again, leave a bit of a decent tail, then you are going to take your yellow yarn, attach it to your thing. Now this should really be self-explanatory at this point, but I'm going to show you any, any way that just for those who see, I always, oh no, I didn't, I did it right this time. Um, just for visual learners, you know. And so um, you're again going to take the yellow yarn, pull that through, pull your green yarn tight, pull the tail of the yellow yarn, and you're going to chain your one. Make sure the yellow and green are pulled tautly. Tuck in your tails. Now for this, if you are sewing in, like I said, I would just tie them together and just stuff them down. It would it saves more time, honestly. And for rows 15 through 20, 
you are going to chain one and single crochet all the way around for row. Now, after you are done with that, you are finished with your, um, you're finished with your legs. And you are going to yarn off on, with the yellow and leave a long tail so that you can sew it into your torso. So, I'm just going to unravel this because I'm done with this. But now, we are going to move on to the arms, which are basically made the same way um, just fewer stitches. All right, like I said, the arms are made almost the same exact way. So again, you're going to take your purple yarn again, since we're starting at the bottom for the arms and legs, you are going to take your six millimeter hook again and your purple yarn, and you are going to make a magic circle. But this time you are going to put six single crochet into the magic circle. So that is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now you're going to pull that piece, that end piece, that short piece through, and you're going to slip stitch into that Top stitch there. Come on, I hate when it's... There we go. Slip stitch and chain one. You're going to get your stitch marker, put that into the first stitch, and this is made pretty similar to the legs. So um, for row one, you are going to chain one like we just did. Increase in the first stitch. So increase. That is one and two. Then you're going to do a single crochet. I can't see. I'm trying to remember. I should look through it. There you go. Single crochet and increase all the way around for row one, which I might as well just show you because I'm almost there. So one, then you have your increase. You have your increase and one more single crochet and then you're going to slip stitch into that top stitch and chain one now for row two same pattern as the second row of the legs you're going to chain one you're going to do an increase in the first stitch can you see that an increase in the first stitch and one single crochet in the next two stitches increase one single crochet in the next two stitches for row two i hope that's clear does that focus okay all right now simple for row three i'm going to move my stitch marker for row three, you are simply going to chain one and single crochet all the way around completely for row three. Okay, now again, as you can see, it's going to start to do that curve up effect thingy. And for row four, you are going to put two decreases in the beginning and the end of the round and single crochet in between. So you're going to go into that loop, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through three, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull through all three, then single crochet. And like I said, if you're decreasing, you need two stitches for that, so make sure you have four stitches available. And sometimes I make the mistake of single crocheting all the way down and then forgetting that I have to decrease. So one, two, three, four, excuse me. And then you're going to decrease one, two, one, two, decrease Come on. all the way around for row four.
And with the decreases, you will see gaps a little bit because you're basically, it sort of stretches. Oh, that's not the stitch. Hold on. See, I hate when it does this because it's so hard to push with the stitch marker that I'm using, push the needle in past the stitch marker. Okay. Now you're going to chain one, and it's starting to do that form effect. You want to pull it out just a little bit, not too much. And let me look at my pattern. Yeah, we're still on purple. Okay. I wanted to make sure so that I don't tell you guys to continue and you have to switch off like I did with the legs. Okay. So now you're going to add your stitch marker. And for rows five and six, you are just going to single crochet all the way around for five rows, five and six. Okay. Can you see this clearly? Come on. All right. Now you have rows five and six done. Now, ooh, come on. Now you are going for row seven, and this is the last round that you will use with the purple yarn. You are going to put three decreases. Why do I, why do I keep saying that? Three decreases. Three decreases in the beginning and end of the round. Now, for me, I didn't have that many stitches left. Um, to really single crochet and I think I only single crocheted once in this so um, I'm gonna see if let me see that's my first that's one that'll be two that's one two two four it's a yeah it's enough okay I just wanted to make sure because I don't want to tell you to well no you really won't have anything to single crochet in between. So for this, you could either do two decreases in the beginning or three. I do use three, that'd be one, two, one, one. Yeah, it would just be decreases all around. So I would just do two. This was trial and error for me, honestly. So you did two, instead of three, just do two. Cause I just figured I should just tell you guys to decrease all around, but that would make it look very weird two two there we go decrease oh i'm sorry you guys couldn't see cool. come on yeah just two i'm gonna take that out of the pattern and then you're gonna slip stitch in that come on this also hurts my arms to try to decrease with, oh no, not try to decrease, to try to slip stitch in front of the camera because my arms are like outstretched like this and trying to push this in as a feat. Anyway, you want to start molding it, start, you know, because it'll be long like this. You want to start molding it, puffing it up. But now that is your last thing, your last round for purple. Now again, like the uh, leg, you are going to get your blue yarn, cut a, cut off that, and you are going to take your blue yarn, and you are going to add on to this, pull your purple yarn, pull your blue yarn. And for rows 8 through 12, what is wrong with me today? For rows 8 through 12, you are going to single crochet all the way around for rows 8 through 12. And like I said, this is just demonstration, so I'm not going to do all of that. But 8 through 12, single crochet all the way around and meet me back. Okay. See, the thing keeps poking out like that. What you want to do is, like, make it squat. Stick your finger and make it squat like that. So that's what ha that's how it would sit. But um, I only made three rows so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, I'm just going to again start to explain this to you only because 
this again is uh, pretty self-explanatory. You'll just be yarning. The the most thing that you'll be doing that now is single crocheting and trading in your colors. So the next color that you will be using is your... We just used blue, so we're going up to green. Now the arms are going to be much longer, so you're pretty much going to have all the colors of the flag excuse me, on this arm except for red. So what you're going to do um, after the blue, obviously after blue you have green, so you're going to yarn off, attach your green, and for green you are going to um, chain one single crochet all the way around for rows 13 through 17. Now all of this will be in the description, like I said, um, so that you can follow along. And I also put a tiny key for um, the abbreviations that I use. So after green, you're going to move on to yellow, rows 18 through 22. You are going to single crochet in yellow. For orange, you're going to switch to orange after yellow. For rows 23 through 27, you're going to single crochet all the way around. And after that, you will be left with something. Where are my arms? Oh, <laughs> where are my arms? You're going to be left with something that looks like this. Okay. So I'm going to spread these out. But this is what you're going to be left with, which is super cute, right? They look, kind of look like legs. I have to make the squat. I haven't stuffed these, so it's going to look a lot better. This kind of just looks like boxing gloves right now but um I haven't stuffed these because I want it to wait but after you do that you have your legs and your arms done now all we need to do is work on the torso and the head and then a few other things along with that so let's get started on the torso all right now since we ended as far as the legs go Oops. since we ended on the legs which this is the the legs that you see oh why is it all mushed out like that Ew. anyway as you can see with the legs um how short they are because they're going to be sitting like this straight we ended on yellow so since they're going to be attached to the torso we are going to the color after yellow is orange now, I don't have that much orange left. I have about this tiny amount. So I'm going to try to make do and show you as much as I can um, with this color, but I might have to switch to another one. But keep in mind, for this portion of the torso, we're using orange, so I don't get confused. We're still using orange. I just might have to switch off. So for the torso, you're going to start again with your 6 millimeter hook. Oh, I almost knocked my yarn off the thing. I just did. Oops. A six millimeter hook and your orange yarn. And you are going to make a magic circle. A magic circle. Oh, that orange looks pretty under this light. And you are going to single crochet. I mean, slips. Chain one. What am I talking about? Chain one. And then you're going to put 11 single crochet into the circle come on so that's 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and one now you're going to pull that pull that tight where's that see has anybody ever made this mistake where you start crocheting with this and then you get to the end and it's like what happened to my yarn and you use the wrong one all right so we're going to slip stitch into that top stitch And we're going to chain one. Now get your stitch marker, which I always seem to lose. Okay, there it is. 
for a stitch marker, put it in that chain one, and for the first row, as we have done with the legs and the arms, you are going to chain one, do an increase, you do chain one, do an increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next, increase in the next stitch, single crochet all the way around for row one. Now you're going to re be repeating this pattern until you get to row four. So I'm still going to stop in, we'll pause the video, do it, and then show you what I mean, just so that uh, it's clear what I'm saying for those who are viewing this video for the first time or my channel for the first time. Um, increase, so for the first row, you do one single crochet. That makes sense. And the second row, you do one single crochet in the next two stitches. Then the third row around, you do one single crochet in the next three stitches. So every row for your single crochet, the corresponding row that you're, you, you're doing, you would have to do uh, that amount of single crochet. So if you're on row three, you do one single crochet in the next three stitches on row two, one single crochet in the next two stitches. So that may be easier. So if you have more single crochet in a row that you're not supposed to, then you know that you are not on the correct row. So I'm going to finish this up just so you can see and slip stitch into that top stitch and that is row one now you're going to continue this like i said until you get to row uh four which i believe yes row four like i said the corresponding row you have for four row four you have once an increase one single crochet in the next four stitches increase one single crochet in the next four stitches. So again, like I said, all of this will be down in the description and meet me back here when you get to row four. Okay, now that you have, whoop, now that you have rows one through four done, that's what it's gonna start to form into. You are going to chain one and single crochet all the way around for rows five, through eight yes for rows five through eight now after i'm gonna single crochet like i said only for a, a few rounds because i'm going this is just an example um i'm also going to be yarning off on the colors just to make it easier for you guys to see what i'm talking about but this is, like I said, simply the torso. I can show you what that looks like in a minute of the one that I've previously made. And, um, yeah, that's really mu uh, pretty much it. I'll crochet a few rows just so you know what it looks like. But I'll show you the torso for reference. So for rows 5 through 8, single crochet all the way around. And I will meet you back. Okay, now I'm just going to show you the torso for reference. This is the torso. I know it doesn't look. I have to mush it out. But this is, well, I'll just put it like this. This is the torso. So it's when, you're, when you have the orange, this is a different color orange. This is all I had. I used up this shade of orange but it's going to start to form that sort of u shape it looks you know fugly like this but that it's going to start to form that u shape now once you've done i haven't done the five to eight rows but you know this is just anyway so five to eight rows now what you're going to do is for red you are going to cut your yarn and you are going to get red your red yarn and you are going to attach that to your torso. 
attach that to your torso. Chain one. Oh, come on. Chain one and put that stitch marker through. And for rows nine through 12, you are going to chain one and single crochet all the way around for rows nine through 12. Now, like I said, you can either make how, how, see, I haven't made all the rows, so this is how much you have. You could do, do fewer or less to make it even more rainbow, or you could do it how I did it, sort of chunky, where each part has like a specific amount of sections for it. It's up to you. But for rows 9 through 12, you're going to single crochet all the way around. Okay, now I've done uh, two rows of the red just to show you what it looks like. Now, after you are done with your rows with red, you are going to switch back to purple because you've reached the top of the flag, which the, the top color is red, so we're just going to go back and keep redoing the colors. So now cut off your yarn, your red yarn, and take your purple yarn again, and you are going to add that to your red yarn. Make sure you pull that, chain one, make sure those are pulled, move your stitch marker, come on, move your stitch marker, and with purple, for rows 13 through 16, you are going to single crochet all the way around for rows um, 13 through 16. All right, now after you are done with your purple row, see it only looks this tiny because I haven't done all the stitches, but it's gonna bow out and gonna be pretty, pretty a, a decent size. And still using purple, you're gonna chain one, insert your stitch marker, and you are going to do two decreases in the beginning and the end of the rows and single crochet in between so again a decrease counts for two stitches make sure you leave four because we're doing two of them at the very end of the round and you are going to single crochet all the way in between um, those decreases so um this will also be the last row that you will be using purple in because after this row, we are going to switch to blue again. And, you know, continue up the line with the colors. All right, now I have finished this row. Now you are going to cut off your purple yarn. Now you're going to get your blue yarn again. And add that to your, come on, get out of the way, out of the way, and you're going to put that, oh, that was ugly, and you're going to pull that through, pull the thing taut, chain one with the blue, and you're going to put your stitch marker back in to that chain one, and with blue, you are going for rows 18 and, what does that say? For rows 18 and 19, I guess. You're going to use blue. Actually, let me see. That doesn't seem right. One, two, three, four. I only have two rows for this. I'm not sure why. Let me rewrite that if I have a pen. Because that's just two rows. We need at least four. So let me get 18, 19, 20. Let's do 18 
through 21. Okay. 18 through 21, you are going to single crochet around. Okay, so as you can see, I have a lot of tails that you can just... With the torso, it's easier because the, the hole in the middle is a lot bigger. But now, with continuing with the blue, for rows after your 18 through 21, I had to make some adjustments, I'm sorry. For rows for row 22, you're going to chain one and you are going to do three decreases. I don't know why I'm <coughs> having a hard time with that word. Three decreases in the beginning and end of the round. And you are going to single crochet in between that for row 22. Okay, now for row 23, you are going to just single crochet all the way around for 